Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at how to improvise using scales over Latin jazz chord progressions. So this lesson follows on from the previous two lessons where we've been looking at using chord tones to improvise and understanding Latin jazz chords. Now today we're going to continue from in that series and we're going to look at the chords that we looked at in the last video, which were the chords in C major. If you haven't watched those already, I'd really encourage you to go back and look at those two previous videos, which we really get the ball rolling when it comes to understanding the harmony and the, the notes that you're playing. Now obviously improvising is a big topic and it's actually quite a confusing and difficult topic which covers a lot of theory. So really today is just a dip in the water, just to dip our feet into that idea of playing scales over chords. So because we're playing in the key of C, it's gonna be really useful for you to understand and know the notes within the key of C, which are all the natural notes, the notes that are not, that are not sharp and flattened. So I'd really encourage you to sort of study that to start with and head over to my blog and I've got a fretboard diagram of all the natural notes, all the notes in C major or A natural minor. This will help you in finding the correct scale patterns that we're gonna be using in this lesson. Let's get stuck in. So as we talked about in the last lesson, the chords in C major are C major, D minor seven, E minor seven, F major seven, G seven, A minor seven, B half diminished. And for each of those chords, we played the chord tones last time. We're gonna do the same thing today, but instead of playing chord tones, we're gonna to play scale tones. So let's start with playing each chord and the scale that works on top of it. I'm gonna do an example of playing the scale here, and then I'll play the scale a bit higher, and then show you a few little embellishments and ideas of how I might construct that scale. Let's start with C major. I'll just set up a loop. So I'm going to play C major. Right. I kind of ended up connecting the two uh, scales from here to here. All notes within the C major scale. It's a simple one, C major over C major scale. That's probably something that you don't have to think too much about. But it's a good place to start. The next chord is D minor seven. So let's set that up as a loop. D to D, still C major, D to D. So you might have noticed I was I was kind of playing through some different interval ideas, oftentimes referring back to the D. And that's a kind of a good exercise as well. Refer back to the to the root note of the chord. You can use a D a D bass. But you can also use the, the first note of the scale. And the interesting thing about that scale, D to D in C major is that it's a Dorian scale. Does that matter whether or not you know it's Dorian? Not really, but it's different to a D minor scale. You're playing a D Dorian scale, in this case, over a D minor, which has a sharp six. And that's, I was exploiting that a little bit. And I think that just sounds interesting. It's a B natural, okay? And if you were playing the chord tones, there's the added six, so it's kind of like it would also work over D minor six chord because the D minor six has a B natural. Anyway, I'll stop there with the theory because I don't want to get too dense, which is going to keep playing through the scales. All right, the next chord is E minor seven. E to E.
quite a dark scale and it's called the Phrygian scale, E to E with all natural notes. Usually played over an E chord and it sounds a lot more Spanish. Which is what I've talked about in, in previous episodes. But over an E minor 7 chord, it's got a more of a jazz Phrygian feel. And the thing about this scale is that it starts on a, with a flat 2. It starts with a semitone, which is unusual for a scale. So, so it's a dark minor scale because it's got the minor 3rd, but it's also got the, the, the flat 2 or the flat 9, which is flat 2 here, flat 9. Um, so it has a sort of a darkness which you can bring out exploiting that flat 2 sound, which is what I was doing. The next chord is F major 7, so let's set that up as a loop. F to F. So F to F, that's a that's called the Lydian mode, and yeah, it's 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 a very uh, major sounding mode, and it's characterized by the sharp four. So it's 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 different to an F major scale because it has a sharp four. So in this case, it has a B natural. So over F major seven, it works really well, especially when you're playing the key of C. Okay, um, so I exploited that a little bit and the Lydia mode has quite an ethereal quality. Um, with, the, with the B in this case, um, it's the, it has a, a sort of a, a, an 11th, the fourth or the 11th. So in this case, um, you could also play an F major 11 chord and you know, with, which would be an F major with a, and um, that mode works really well over that scale, over that chord as well. F major 9, F major 11, F major 7. They all work well using playing the Lydian mode. The next chord is G7. Let's play G7. Fun one, the Mixolydian scale, which is G to G. It's got a, it's got an F natural, so flat seven, and you can really milk that. And it's there's a really nice. Uh, it's a, that's a really nice, fluid way of playing the Mixolydian. So G to G over G seven when we're playing in this key. The next one is A minor 7. A to A. Well, that's really an, just an A natural minor scale. Uh, so there's nothing sort of extremely secretive or interesting about it, uh, but it works over A minor 7. Um, a minor 7, so obviously the G being in a minor 7 is kind of an interesting note to, to work with as well. And then the last chord is B half diminished, so we'll just set that up. So that's uh, that's called the uh, the Locrian mode, and it also has a flat two to start with. Quite a dark mode as well. Works well over the B half diminished. So having played the scales or the modes over each chord, I hope you'll get a sense of the character of each of these scales and how 
you can start to approach them using them in a Latin jazz context. So in other words, if you're playing a piece that is in C major and you'll be using the C, C major scale, and then when you switch to the A minor, before you're gonna be thinking, okay, natural minor, D minor, you're gonna be thinking D Dorian, G7, you're gonna be thinking G Melix Solidian. They're all notes within the C major scale. Once you sort of get a feel for where those modes are on the guitar, ex exactly in the way that we did it today, then I think it'll start to provide a little bit of a bridge towards understanding really what scale playing is in a jazz context. So to recap, learn all the notes in the C major across the fretboard, and two, play the modes for each chord. So play C to C for C major, D to D for D minor, D to E for E minor, F to F for G major, G to G for G7. And we can give them names, the, the mode names, but really what's going to be important is how, how they feel under the fingers. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and that it was relatively straightforward and clear. If you have any questions or don't understand something, feel free to leave a comment or head over to latinguitarmastery.com and we can have a conversation over there. That's it for me now and I'll see you next lesson. Mm -hmm.